the highest score of the day. Oh! Hey now, nine club. Nine club. Oh. It's gonna run out of room in the tap zone. Nine, nine club. club. It's a nine club, 9.3. Deshaun Jordan. And we have Manny Santiago. Manny's got no scores on though. This is for the love, the homies. This is for Puerto Rico. This is for just the stoke. The hats off. Let's get it, Manny. <laughs> Burial heel flip, backside 5-0. Yeah, Manny. What? Take another look. No one does that. That's insane. Has to keep that trick down so he doesn't go over the top of it. Too much pop in the last couple of goes. Hey. Get the tattoo gun out. Nani Santiago gets a nine with the varial heel backside 5 0. Using that grizzly grip tape to its maximum. Nice plug. Yeah, that was nicely done. Manny Santiago. And that is our first nine of the day. Took two full heats to get here. And Manny, after three back-to-back -back bails, brings home the nine. He's gonna run out of room in the tap zone. Felipe Gustavo, he's in ninth. Needs a six or better to move into the eight cut. Oh, oh my goodness! goodness. <laughs> wow! Hell yeah! That, I'm gonna just throw it out. That was the heaviest thing that we've seen on that thing today. Switch kick oh, flip, backside nose so grind. Wasn't a crooked grind. It was not. It was a balanced backside so nose grind. So and again, perfect. Wrong. Take another look. Watch the balance on that. Look, beautiful. No touchdown on the nose. Oh, wow. Textbook Deep balance. Watch this. Flip. Pure balance. No. Pushing down on that. Doesn't get much better than that one. Okay. Nine club. And rightfully so. He did it with such speed, too. Look at that. He just moved into first place. There's that close up angle. You can see that locked and loaded, popped in, popped out. He's stoked on that. Love from Carlos. Ribeiro, highest score of the day so far. Switch flip, back nose grind. Felipe Gustavo, doing it to perfection. On deck, Olympics, Olympic bronze medalist. He got us a wild card spot in here from Tampa Pro two weeks ago. It's Jagger Eaton. This is a guy I wanted to watch here in the finals today. I just think he can bring something a little bit different. Kick flip backside lip slide. As well as those kind of rail tricks like that kick flip back lip that are fairly staple for most guys. He's so well rounded, but the thing is, he's just unbelievably consistent. He is gonna make all his tricks. And he's a contest attacker. He's won contests before. He knows exactly what it's like. He knows how to play the game, can handle the pressure. And he's showing it right now, putting together an excellent line. Nice blunt kick flip. Solid pump to get the speed for the hobo. The rail, switch, 180 nose grind. Oh man. That was that was a big, perfect run. That was something else. Local boy bringing it right here in the desert. The dry heat means nothing to this guy. He loves it. You called it at the top of the show, Jeff. And there's that beautiful view of Lake Havasu in the background. Backside nose blunt, setting up for that kick flip, backside lip slide. Those are two tricks to put back to back that are gonna be tough, and look at that. Back, backside 180 nose grind, there's that final trick. Switch yeah, 180 nose grind, and let's see how the judges mark that. I think they're gonna be feeling it. Oh! Hey now, nine club! Nine club! <laughs> Way to bring that desert heat, Jagger Eaton. It's adding to it, first nine of the day. Okay, he's in the driver's seat. The six time SLS world champion, Nigel Houston, 
skating for Monster Energy. Coming off a second place finish in Salt Lake City, and he was not okay with it. Well, he looked very strong too as well, Paul. I mean, we've been watching Nigel warm up and try to get into the finals for many years now. And at that last event, I thought he looked really on point. He looked like he kind of cleaned things up a little bit and was very focused. And that's why he got second place. And he's coming into this one looking very strong with a great line so far. Truly. And, and in the prelims yesterday, he, he qualified first. It looked pretty easy for him. He kind of just cruised through to first place. Look at that 360 flip. Once it goes to the single tricks, it's hard for anybody to compete with Nigel. He has those tricks that are just, you just need that level of board control that very few have. The average for Nigel is above everyone else like that. Wow, on that run. Molly 180 backside nose grind. That was the second perfect run we've seen here in the final. Jagger got a nine for his. Any predictions, or are we just going to wait and see what happens? Those poor judges. Look at this <laughs> level of skateboarding. Kickflip, backside, lips like that. Front foot looked like it was going to not come on there, but it did. And then there's that nolly when he nose grind. Just squeaks it around at the end. Crowd was loving that line. So a 9.0 is the score to beat for first right now before we move into the single trick section. And there, there you go, go. 9.1, he does it. That's Beautiful. a 9.1 for Nigel Houston. Wow, yeah. Getting some love though from the homies. There's that fakey 5-0. And then there's that switch heel flip up the step up. Setting the ball rolling. Keeping the heat on everybody, every competitor here today. Next skater in from Brazil. Talk about somebody who can spin, spin tricks around and then reverse them on the landing. Lucas Ribello. Here we go. Oh! Nolly cab to no slide. Wow. That's the kind of stuff that we need to see. That's how you're going to compete with, the, with the, everything that Nigel Houston can bring out. Pull out tricks that nobody else does. The last time I saw anybody do that in SLS is Uto, right? Like, that's at Uto level. That is a serious trick. That's going to be a great score. The nine. Lucas Rebello is in the nine club with a 9.0. All right. Back to the top of the order. Final attempts here in the single trick section. Deshaun Jordan, he's in third. He wants more. Oh! Are you kidding me, Jeff? Oh, my God. Talk about that. I don't know. There was spinning. There was flipping. There was <laughs> rail sliding. That's a bigger flip to front side board slide down the bigger hover rail, which is wide. It's fat. It's not forgiven when you land in a board slide more than a 50-50, and you'll see that here. Look at that spin and flip, and he has to push it out. There's that much, like, resistance for it to slide. Watch the when he lands in it. Doesn't want to slide on him. It's like, nope, yeah. you're going to stick, and he has to push down. <sighs> That's going to be huge. And just so you at home know, Jeff literally jumped out of his chair for that one, so feeling it. That's the good. heaviest trick that we've seen so far today. Needs a 9.4 to move into the lead. It's going to be a 9 club, 9.1. Moves into second place. Huge move for Deshaun Jordan. There's another look, that straight look, so you can see that full 360 flip over rotate in the front side board slide. A lot of moves going on there. <laughs> that, was, that was incredible. We have final single trick attempt from Nigel Houston, and this is straight practice. Well, no, it can't, it can't, you, he should just keep going because it's super final time. He's trying to get rid of an eight, just trying to increase his lead. Oh, cab back nose blunt. Wow. Wow. Incredible. So let's say that's higher than, than an eight. You gotta assume it's gonna be higher than an eight. He's gonna be increasing his lead as we go into the super final. Well, that's where you need to be when you're Nigel Houston. You need to constantly put that heat, bring the tricks, push that progression, push the level. That's it right there. Nigel is on fire out here. Nine club. 
9.3 wow. for wow. Nigel Houston. The highest score of the day. Take another look. Coming, Coming in fakey, fakey in that. Paul and I are on the same game. <laughs> Caballero on the backside nose blunt slide. The degree of difficulty, the degree of just awkwardness and gnarliness. 9.3, Nigel Houston. All right, back to the top of the order with Felipe Gustavo. He needs an 8.6 for second place, meaning he can't touch Nigel. He can do, he can get an 8.6 quick though. Oh, he has the tricks, man. He has the moves, that's for sure. He has the consistency, too, to do it. One of the nicest people that you will meet, Felipe Gustavo. Radical human being. Oh! Wow, that was tight. That was locked and tight. He did that like he did on a flat ground ledge. Wow, listen. Here's that visible replay coming up. Switch kick flip to tail slide. Bolts. Wow. It doesn't get any cleaner than that or any smoother. Look at that. No shake, no foot movement, and a good big roar. <laughs> Stoke him out. Let's see what the judges think. Nine club. Oh, yes. Nine even for That's Felipe it. Gustavo. Last try. Needs a 9.9 .9 for first place. He's in third. Get it, Deshaun, get him. He could catch Felipe Gustavo. Can he catch Nigel? Oh, oh, he sticks it. Oh. Wow. I, he did not, I did not see him even try that in practice, even look at it. Nolly inward heel front board. He popped it, he caught it about a foot above the ledge, above the hubba. Look at that. That score is going to be huge, Jeff. A 9.9 .9 gives him the win. <laughs> That's going to be a tough cookie to get 9.9 .9 <laughs> anytime. But still, regardless, top level world class skateboarding from Deshaun Jordan. Gnarly tricks. So the crowd went wild. He's from Phoenix, Arizona. Is Felipe Gustavo safe in second place? Felipe has, Felipe has one third place finish in his past. Deshaun has one win in his past. Will he get another one? Will it be a 9-9? Nine, nine? Oh, it's, it's a 9 club, 9.3. Deshaun Jordan moves into second place and the podium is set.